Hi guys, it's me, Julia, and welcome back to a new video with me. For today's video, I thought it would be cool to film another voiceover, since my last one actually did really well on this channel, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So today, I'm doing a voiceover of my first competition here at Harper University. This competition was back in November 2019, so a few months ago, and here we were entered in a 1 meter and in a 105. And this is the one meter round. Here I come to fence number one. He lands on the wrong leg. Um, go to number two. Still on the wrong leg. But here we go. He changes it eventually. And then off to number three. Which was nice. And then I think this was a six stride. Yep. This was actually my first ever show at Harpery. So I was quite nervous. Especially being in this massive arena for the first time. And yeah, here we get a good stride into the combination. Go around over a little upright. If I remember correctly, he was a little bit hard to turn here. <laughs> yeah. And then we changed legs over the spread and then coming to a little combination. Clegg was always really good at combinations. He loves them. And then what comes next? I think another line. Which we get a little bit deep too, but clicks alright with it. <laughs> and then we get to the last line of the course. And we enter well. And yeah, that was our first ever round at Harpery, which we went clear in. I was super happy. And we actually managed to come third in that class. And this is the 105, which was right after my first round. Um, so I just kind of walked click around for like 10-15 minutes and then I went in for the second round. It was the exact same course, just one hole higher. And I actually thought he was so much better in this round. I think as the jumps go up he just kind of takes me to the jumps a lot more and the rounds get a lot smoother. So yeah, same course, just a bit higher. He felt so so great here. And yeah, so, okay, so we've had four fences. This is fence number five. Coming into the little combination. <laughs> and he pings over it. Makes it really smooth. To number six. And then here we change legs again over the oxer, which was actually a lot better this time. A little bit smoother. And then coming to the combination. I was actually really happy that we hit the combination well both times. And at this point of the course he was getting a little bit strong. Especially you guys will see in this line coming up now. I had to make sure to get him to sit up in between the line <laughs> right here. Um, so he wouldn't get too close to the last part of the line. And yeah he was getting a bit strong here. Got a bit deep to that, and then to the last jump of the course, and we went clear again, and we actually won that class, which just made me so, so happy. It was such a good day. Um, we entered two classes, clear in both, and also placed in both. In this video, <laughs> here, this is right after the round, and we were just waiting for the last few contestants to go and to jump their course um, to hear the results. And Kleck was just very entertained by that water bottle. Anyways, we won we won the 105 and got third place in the 1 meter. So it was a very, very successful day for our first show together, Heartbreak. This was actually a two-day show weekend. So this is the next day. And here we jump the Discovery, which is the 1 meter. Again, he lands on the wrong leg after the first jump. But then changes leg in the corner. And then we come to jump number two which is the same line from yesterday. He hits that really well. And he was a little bit strong this day, but still jumped really nicely. And I thought we had a pretty good round. Coming to the combination, which we hit really well and Clegg flies through. I could have probably set up this turn a little bit better. He trips <laughs> a tiny bit. Um, Cause sometimes he can, be, he can be a little bit hard to turn. Gets a bit strong after here, but still managed to pull off a good distance with a not so great canter. And then here we have the same turn from um, the past day. Change of legs again to the same little combination, which I was so happy. We always hit it really well. And then I think 
that was almost the whole course. We have another line coming up here. Here I wanted to make sure he was waiting for me and he did a lot better than yesterday. And then here we come to the last jump of the course, although you're gonna see in a second, I I was done and then Clint just jumped the first jump again, which was actually the last jump of yesterday's course. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit awkward, but I don't think the judges actually saw it because we still went clear. And then this is the last show I'm gonna put into this video. These clips are actually from December, so a few weeks after the show that you just watched. And this is me warming up for my first ever British Newcomers, which is a 110, where the second phase is 115. They usually like to build it quite up to height at Heartbreak. I'm not gonna lie, even though me and Collect did jump a 110 before, I was quite nervous because it was our first 110 in England. So here you see me coming to a few warm-up fences, and then, oh my god, here we come really long, <laughs> and Click really had to stretch. Yeah, and here we go, into the arena. I was actually really nervous <laughs> at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly think that this was one of the highest and most challenging rounds we've done. I'm quite happy with how I rode through this round. I definitely try to make sure to have a really good canter because that is key with Kleck. I feel like if I hold him too much, it'll get really sticky, he'll be hard to turn, and it just won't go as smoothly. And with a bigger canter and a good rhythm, it just always goes a lot better and he just takes me to the jumps a lot more if I just kind of let him go a little bit. So yeah, here we go to fence number one, which is quite a big upright. He... <laughs> really jumps it nicely <laughs> and then we go around the corner to a three stride i'm pretty sure nope four strides we hit that nicely and then we come to fence number four which is this blue one on the side towards the gate <laughs> jumps it really well and then we come to this little jump over here which so many horses refused i don't know why but Clegg doesn't even look at it. Bless him, he was so good. And then we come to a combination, which Clegg is always really good at. This next jump coming up is a water tray. We hadn't jumped one in months, so I made sure to sit him up and really ride towards it. Jumped it really nicely, but here I should have half halted because we were a little bit deep. Here he was a little bit strong. Towards the end of the course, I was getting a bit tired and looser with my upper body and then yeah we didn't get the best distance to this combination but Clegg always helps me out in those kind of moments and here we return into the last line of the course as you can tell I didn't take any inside turns I just wanted to ride safely and nicely through the whole course entered well and then I really had to sit him up for this big red oxer which he jumped really nicely to the last jump of the course this huge green oxer and I was so happy that I put him in a good spot to jump it and yeah that was our first ever newcomers we went clear and actually played well we didn't place we were seventh so just out of the placings but I was so so happy and yeah this is just the same video from a different angle I thought I'd play it for you in the background while I have my little exit talk anyways Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and sticking around. I had a lot of fun filming it and I hope this is something that you guys enjoy watching because I have a lot of these kind of show videos that I could voice over for you guys if you want to see them. So let me know down below if you do. We actually just competed last weekend and we're going to show this coming weekend and if you guys want another video like this let me know. I can film another one where I show those raw videos because on my Instagram I usually just post little edits and a lot of people always ask me to post raw videos of my rounds. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of Kalek and I as well as follow me on my Instagram which is at rideeverystride just like this channel's name. If you have any suggestions, video requests or recommendations, pop them down below in the comments. I Love reading your guys' comments and usually answer them all. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!